This is Tom Bernanke, and I'm gonna go over my nine favorite snacks that you can absolutely eat that have no sugar, no carbs, and you could pretty much go crazy on these. But why is this important for a foot doctor? Because one pound on your belly or your torso is five pounds on your feet, three pounds on your knees. This is the single best long-term method to relieve knee pain, foot pain that anybody can do, and it has almost no cost. But make sure you wait till the end because we have some of our best tips at the very end. So see you there. So the trick is foot pain, knee pain. There's a million things we can do for you and there are easier things than losing weight. And if you're in Michigan, the Detroit, Michigan area, come see us, we'd love to see it at, at our clinic. But why do you want to eat carb-free and sugar-free snacks? As you get more nutrients, this will help with peripheral neuropathy, nerve diseases, your pain um, sensations, it'll help with all of that. And as you get the weight down, what'll happen is uh, for every one pound of belly fat you lose, that's five pounds on your feet because when you're standing on one foot, it's your whole body weight distributed in a tiny little foot and on your knee, that's three pounds. Now imagine going up and down the stairs, bending up and down a chair. That's a lot of momentum. That's where people damage ligaments, their big toes, bunions, hammer toes, all that kind of stuff. So this is my favorite no carb meals. Number one, this is my favorite and I eat this every morning, eggs. One, two, three eggs, all my kids eat it, I eat it. You know, eating two eggs or so, it's like 90 calories each, chock full of nutrients and vitamins. You know, it's not all of them, it's not the only food you need to eat, but there's no sugar, no carbs in there, ton of protein, a large variety of protein too. So if you're working out, working on those pipes, that's a great one to eat that'll get you strong, let you do all your rehab, recover from surgery as well. So number two is meat and seafood. So these are kind of like cheater foods. Even though they're low carb, I'm not gonna say they're the best for you because people with foot problems have gout. So gout, when you eat seafoods and meats, it's gonna cause you uh, a lot of uh, uric acid to build up. This can lead to some problems overall for sure and can cause gout creation. So even though they don't have carbs or sugar, there's a lot of fat, a lot of saturated fat. You know, make sure um, you're not going too crazy with those. You know, don't eat like five steaks every day, even though you're not getting any carbs. Probably not the best thing for you, especially because of the saturated fats. Critical air alert, I made a huge mistake here and my wife is a dietitian, so she caught this. Cold water fish like salmon, um, you know, tuna, these are all amazing sources of omega-3 fatty acid. They're low in fat. They're very healthy, high in protein. This is some of the best food you can eat. I was thinking like crab legs and, you know, sushi and stuff full of rice. You know, that's the kind of seafood that's bad for you. This is amazing seafood. Number four, poultry and turkey. This is a great meat. You know, you don't want to just base your whole diet on it. Although the carnivore diet is very big, you know, you know, because it cuts out sugar, you know. Uh, there's a lot of people that rave about that, but I won't get into that. But turkey and chicken is usually pretty high in protein, pretty low in saturated fats and bad fats, and has absolutely no sugar or carbs, you know, minus the little 1% range that might trickle in there. Uh, but I won't get into that. So I love that. I use that for my kids. You know, I chop up chicken. Um, I chop up, um, you know, turkey. But if you start uh, dousing it with like pulled pork sauce, that kind of stuff, then that's a ton of carbs. So just be aware for that. I'm talking like just plain cooked chicken. You can combine it with vegetables, uh, you know, some salt if you needed to. Number five, nuts. So nuts are fantastic. I love nuts, but be aware they're very dense and they're very high calorie rich and they're very full of fat too. So if you go crazy eating nuts, even though they don't have sugar, you're still gonna put on a lot of weight and it's not gonna be the best thing for you because uh, you know they're not filled with crazy amounts of nutrients even though they have good omega-3 fatty acids. So here's the part that you've been waiting for. Here's kind of the ultimate foods. If you could force feed yourself these foods uh, that have no uh, sugar for the most part, you will be in amazing shape. Now, here's where I'm gonna talk about the glycemic index. There's complex carbs and there's simple carbs. Simple carbs are what you wanna avoid. These are ones that get converted straight to the bad stuff. These are the ones that clog your arteries, go straight to fat, and make you feel like crap and make, make you a diabetic, you know? 
Uh, complex carbs are phenomenal. These are ones that your body can't really digest, so they pass through your body and you poop them out. This is called fiber for the most part. So you want a lot of complex carbs. Complex carbs are actually great. If you could eat complex carbs all day, that's probably good for you. You know, it's gonna clean out your GI tract, whereas simple carbs are horrible for you. That's your cakes, your cupcakes. So you wanna cut down on the simple carbs, you wanna eat your complex carbs. So I love to use the avocado as an example. A half cup of avocado slices is 11 grams of carbs. Out of that 11 grams of carbs, uh, one gram is sugar, and 10 grams are complex carbs, so fiber. So that's actually pretty good, that's a great ratio. Over 90% of those carbs are the complex carbs, and they clean out your GI tract, they keep you regular, they cut down on hemorrhoids, they help with the varicose veins, they help with a ton of stomach problems, you know, like too many to list. And you get a ton of nutrients, so an avocado is a great one. Number seven, so this is, these are the ultimate foods. And before I name these, these are ones you could eat all day long and they will actually make you healthier and make you lose weight. So they kind of have like a negative calorie input. There's a great book called Eat to Live and their whole diet is they make people who are obsessed with eating and can't stop snacking, eat a cup of spinach or a cup of cucumber ahead of time. And what this does is it fills up their stomach and they can still snack afterwards if they're still hungry but they have to force feed themselves. So you have to make a deal with yourself. If you eat some bad snacks, you're gonna force feed yourself a cup of cucumbers or spinach ahead of time. Or you could also do this with broccoli. You could also do this with peppers. You could also do this with onion. If you, I know that's not the most appealing thing, but if you're serious about getting healthy, fixing your feet and fixing your knees, this is like the ultimate, ultimate trick. You know, this is when I wrestled, I used to do this, I used to, uh, get a ton of broccoli and force feed myself until I couldn't eat anymore and then I didn't want to eat those snacks and next thing you know like as a month goes by you're down a ton of weight you could lose like 20 30 pounds you know uh, which is an insane amount obviously and you can exercise I always exercise during this time I felt great doing this kind of stuff so that's the really big trick is eat your green vegetables. The green vegetables are not completely carb free, but they're so chock full of nutrients, vitamins. So vitamin B, vitamin C, uh, you know, you can eat your fruits on top of that too, cause you have a little bit of, you know, leeway left over. All these things help with peripheral neuropathy. They help with nerve sensation. They help with your joints. They help with cartilage. They help with muscle function cause you're still getting protein in there. And Every pound you lose on your belly, it's five pounds less on your feet. So if you lose 10 pounds, that's 50 pounds less on your toes and your feet. Think about that. That's like wearing someone on your shoulders. That's why kids don't have foot problems and us adults have these foot problems. So I really care about you guys. Eat your greens, um, subscribe if this helped, share this with friends that need it, and we'll see you in the next video. We have guides for everything. Keep watching. We appreciate you and good luck.